Happy Monday, friends. Let's turn Toto off before I uh, <laughs> get a copyright claim. So I just thought I'd pick up the camera and start doing kind of like weekly vlogs. People say that they like, they like my vlogs, so that's really nice, so thank you so much. But I thought I'd start doing like weekly vlogs, if anyone would find that interesting, I don't know. <laughs> you say you like them, so I don't know. Oh, I'm not gonna come downstairs, I'm not good. <laughs> so today I am just going thrifting. I am so, so happy to have the charity shops open again. Like really happy. This I got a little play suit on. But uh, it's a little big, like here, if you can see. It's so cute though. It's like a little jumpsuit rather than a play suit. But it's super cute, I got it from Vinted. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the charity shops. I'm really, really excited. It seems, my husband's a bus driver, some people know, some people don't know, but he said it's super busy. So I'm just hoping that people don't come complacent. <laughs> it's nice to have everything open again. I just hope that it stays open. So my husband finishes at half past two, so I'm just gonna go get the bus and meet him in town. But I thought I'd just check in and do like the intro to the weekly vlog. It's Monday the 12th, so this will go on to Sunday. I'll do I'll do the Monday to Sunday, then the vlog will go up on Sunday night. Um, hope that's okay. Let me know what you think. I'm doing a no makeup makeup look so I'll just have a tinted moisturizer on, a bit of um, a liquid blush and some bit of mascara, some eyebrow gel and a lip balm. I quite like it, it looks really dewy. But yeah, I, I hope that's everything okay. This week's my birthday on Saturday so there'll be like part of my birthday in this vlog. 27! Close to 30. But yeah, <laughs> this intro is now like three minutes long and it's this Monday. Um, I'm hoping these vlogs are only about like 10 to 15 minutes. I know what I'm like though, I ramble. But yeah, it's Monday, let's get on the bus, let's go to the charity shop. So there'll be a charity shop haul, I don't know if that haul, the haul will be up before this will go up. Yeah. <laughs> but let's see what we can find. some stuff on the cherry shop. 30 pounds. Well spent. 37. And it wasn't 37 because how do you get 37 with three pound items Jack? So I think it's two pound. Hey? Two pound. Two pound. Oh I didn't know I had two pound items. 37 pound I thought it was 30 quid. 37. <laughs> oh. 40 pounds. 37? We'll round it up. £40 well spent. Uh, yeah, so that's the one we're going to. I was going to go to a few today, but Jack's off tomorrow, so we're just going to go and, like, go tomorrow. The foundation I'm wearing, the tinted moisturiser, didn't last very well. <laughs> didn't last very well um, with my mask, so I'm looking a bit oily. But yeah, we're gonna go back home because Jack's been at work all day, haven't you, love? Been up since half past two. Bless you. So we're gonna go home, so I'll see you at home. Hi friends, so I'm back home. I just got changed into my dressing gown because I'm freezing, but when am I not freezing? But I thought I'd just actually share something with you. So I popped into Heron on the way home because I occasionally go to Heron. I don't go out very often, but when I do, I always find some really good stuff. So I thought I'd just share them with you because I thought it might be interested. So I found these. So these are five of the boxes for a pound. You get 15 tea bags in a box. And they are the Real Ice Tea Lipton Bruising Cold Water Black Tea Peach and Apricot. So they're really, really good. And they're ready in five minutes. They just pop them in. But I thought they'd be really good. I can take them to work, put them in my water bottles. But 15 tea bags per box and then five boxes for a pound. I thought, yes, okay, get in my basket. And also five of these for a pound as well. So these are the Go Good Natural Hydration Drinks with added vitamins and deep ocean minerals and they're orange fusion. So they only had orange fusion on five for a pound at my heron. I don't know if that's like the same for all of them. I just got some other bits and bobs. Jack grabbed a few bits and bobs, but I thought I'd just show you them as well as these. So these are the hippies and these are salt and vinegar vibes. 
and I hate salt and vinegar but I actually really like these and these are 62 calories a pack and you get five packs for a bag and I believe there was only 65 pence yeah so hippie salt and vinegar multi-pack five times 15 grams for 69 pence so that's really really good I always think when you pop in you just never know what you're gonna find <laughs> I always find some really good stuff but I thought I'd just show you um, in case you were interested um, we also just got some fries for Jack and kitchen foil um, the Warburton Sins I really love them they are really really nice with soup as well um, got daddy's ketchup uh, Dad, Jack's gone to the dark side and now he thinks he's going to put his ketchup in the fridge comment down below what you do do you put it in the fridge or do you put it in the cupboard because I've always been a cupboard girl but Jack said he and it's always been in the cupboard but Jack said now he wants to put it in the fridge and I'm just like what are you doing and also these are three for a pound so the heartless no added sugar uh, my heron had raspberry and black currant but I really love the no added sugar ones I think they're great and then Jack also got these so these are jumbo chicken nuggets 32 jumbo chicken nuggets he said that he heard that they taste just like um, McDonald's nuggies, so he grabbed them and also got some fat-free vinaigrette with garlic and chives, it's 5 calories per tablespoon, so that's all we got, I thought it was really good. The french fries were a pound, ketchup was a pound, my Warburton stins were 90 pence, oh that was only 29 pence, oh wow okay, yeah so that was only 29p. That was amazing. Oh, and the jumbo chicken nuggets were £2.25. So those were the actually most expensive thing that we got. So yeah, I just thought I'd finish off the vlog here. Uh, well, the, this today's part of this weekly vlog here. And I'll see you tomorrow. Jack's day off, so we are just going around all of the charity shops to see what we can find. And yeah, so Jack will be in the vlog. So I'll see you tomorrow. When you see this will be in the evening anyway but hey all it's fine but I'm gonna go and hit the rest of the charity shops which is so exciting you excited no no I am I'm very oh you're going a bit fast as well what's with people going down this road 50 mile an hour it's a 30 it's a 30 zone Anyway, thought I'd just check in for today's section of the weekly vlog. I'm excited to do weekly vlogs, this is nice. I like to take you with me everywhere, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. So I've just had therapy and it went, it went really well. It's all over teams now, but it went really well. And so I'm in a bit of a good mood. So I'm ready to charity shop and see what I can find. And I can't wait to show you what I have found. But you'll see that video before you see this one, like I said yesterday. But I'm really excited for tea as well. Yes. And we're making, well, I'll say it's spaghetti bolognese, but it's not, it's like spaghetti and meatballs. Um, so I've popped me, me meatballs in with my sauce and some extra virgin olive oil and all that fancy stuff in my slow cooker. I haven't used that slow cooker in about three years. Was it even clean? <laughs> yeah, of course it was clean. As in dusty. Oh no, it wasn't dusty, it was just there. But we're gonna pop some parcels in the lockers, got some returns to do, and I've sold some stuff on Vinted. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I've got some parcels to pick up with stuff I've bought on Vinted. And yeah, so I'm gonna put the Vinted stuff with the charity shop stuff, but again, you would have already seen that because I would have already seen my last video and that's already been up, but I'm just saying it now. But I'll check in with you when we're at the charity shops. It's like, I'm really confused. It's like really hot, but also cold. So I've got my nice fluffy jacket on, but now I feel a bit hot. But I know when I go out, I'll be cold. And we have arrived, I don't know if you can see it out the window. Suit Rider. Well, that's Iceland behind us. But yeah, that's Iceland. I'm too black but I've took my glasses off because it's mask time and I steam up. But I also, I forgot to show you, Jack's gave me some of my birthday presents early. So I got a nice Starbucks reusable cup because we love Starbucks. But in this, um, as I showed you yesterday, I can't get it. Oh no, I got it. From the Heron Hall. It's the iced tea, cold brew things. Delicious. I'm actually gonna go pop back to Heron and get five more boxes and stock up because I can, I've used 
like nearly half a box already. And also just to show you another early present, I got some shoes, got some high top vans, thank you Jack. So yeah, I got some early birthday presents. One of them's coming from Amazon today, I don't know what it is. Can I have it early as well? Hi friends, so I'm finished at Sue Rider. I've got a couple, I've got some in my eye. I think I had a hair in my eye or something. Ow. So I got a couple of things from Sue Rider. And we got our 50p Costa. So I have, again, as I got the Starbucks, I have a coconut chai latte. And honestly, it's amazing. It slaps. It slaps. <laughs> it slaps. And Jack got a large latte with caramel and vanilla syrup. So basically a macchiato. But have you tried it yet? You haven't tried it yet? I have tried it. Is it nice? No. 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 Is it not it's not Starbucks? No. <laughs> but you'll drink it nonetheless. Um, yeah. To be fair. Yeah, it's a pound. It was a pound for two drinks. You can't really go wrong with that. So we're going to go and check a couple more charity shops because there's one that we passed, the Salvation Army. That's a quite a big one. But it had like a, a thing in front of the door. So we're not really sure if it's open or there's just a thing in front of the door. We don't know. So we're going to go check that. Hi friends, I'm back home. My tea is looking... Oh, steamy. Tea is looking amazing. Not like you can see. Oh, it's steaming. But yeah, tea looks amazing. Walked through the door and I was like, oh, it smells so good. So I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna get a pan. Just got a large pan, put some water on and ready to put the pasta on. Well, the spaghetti. So that'll be really good. It'd be a, ooh, dark in here. It'd be a nice meal. We've got a lot to put away actually, like shopping wise. Um, show you the haul that I got because I got way more than we thought. And yeah. So all the stuff I bought yesterday and this big bag all from a different charity shops because I did pop to another I did pop to another one or two charity shops. So I've got all that. But yeah, I'm gonna put all the shopping away and put the pasta on, set the table for date night. So I'll see you when I've been set. it's Wednesday yes Wednesday yeah it's Wednesday <laughs> and I've decided to dye my hair sorry Jack's just doing the vacuuming so I've decided to dye my hair and I actually want it cut again so I'm gonna clip her at the back and just make it a bit shorter I've never really liked long hair it always kind of annoys me a little bit and I just like to kind of stick it up or just chop it all off but as you can see the dye is kind of going out so it's like a mix of like platinum and blonde and the lilac's gone so do we say lilac or lilac i always feel like lilac doesn't sound right and i always end up saying lilac i don't know but yeah so i asked over on instagram um what color i should go because i have these from Revolution Beauty and they're just called Colour On and I have lilac, 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 pink and I also have teal. So I asked over on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, my link will just be popping up now and also in the description box below. But everyone voted for pink, so I'm gonna go pink. And I'm super excited about it. So I'm gonna pop this on my hair. I'm not really sure if I need to semi-permanent, so I'm not sure if I have to wet my hair first or if I just pop it on direct. Oh no! Okay, so I apply it to towel dried hair and here it just comes in this little bottle. You get the little gloves. So I'm gonna wash my hair, towel dry it, and then stick this on. I am kind of nervous. I'm really hoping it's not like a vibrant pink. I don't want a vibrant pink but they are pastel, they say pastel and I am just hoping for the best at this point. So I washed it, Jack's actually cut my hair, I don't know if you can see at the back, it's like super short which is great for me, I love it, I can't, I just can't cope with really long hair, it drives me insane quite frankly. So I'm going to stick this on my head, I'll do it with you actually, see where I can pop you. I'm gonna balancing act. Hopefully you don't 
crash and die, but it's okay. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. So it's like a gel. Maybe I need to shake it. I don't know, but it's like this pink gel. Okay, here we go. Just gonna stick it on. I never really part my hair or anything because it's so short. I don't find the point. Again, I've shook it up so it's definitely like this kind of gel consistency. But yeah, I never really find the point of parting my hair when it's so short anyway. I just kind of go in and just make sure that all my hair is like completely saturated. I have a little mirror down here as well, so I'm currently using the camera and the mirror and I have a little mirror here as well. So I'm just using a mirror all the way around. But yeah, I'm just fascinated. I've never really seen like any sort of hair dye, even like a temporary semi-permanent like this, but it kind of goes on like a, you can see it foams out as well. Very interesting. I'm just really fascinated by this. Well, I think my hair is completely saturated now. So this is the hair just towel dried. I feel like, ow, I've got the hair in my eye, ow, ow, I've got the hair in my eye. I feel like in areas it's taken a lot more than others. So let's just, I feel like this is blonde. <laughs> so let's just blow dry it and see what we think. Oh, this color is adorable. Look, that's sweet. I like it. I hate my hair when it's like just been blow dry. It's so poofy. I always dry it with like a barrel brush to try and like get it all done, but then it's like super poofy. I'm just like, mm, no. <laughs> but yeah, I need to style it. But this color is super cute. I really like it. It needs some styling, but I'll I'll do that when I actually like need to go out or film have a lot of filming to do um spent a lot of money at the charity shops and i have pretty much a whole new wardrobe so you would have already seen that i hope you enjoy watching it actually but comment in the comments down below because these only last like six to eight washes and i usually wash my hair like two to three times a week because like it gets quite oily like really quickly and, like even though i've bleached it so it's an inch of its life, it still gets quite oily quickly. So I tend to wash it two to three times a week. So let me know in the comments down below if I should go teal or back to lilac next or a different color. Hi friends, how are we doing? So today is Thursday. I have been filming all morning. So I'm a bit tired now. I don't I don't think I've ever tried on so many clothes in my life, but I thoroughly enjoyed it and I can't wait for you to actually see everything. One of them is going up tonight and I really, really hope you enjoy it. It really means the world to me, like if you enjoy my videos. So I really hope you enjoy it. I also just wanted to show you this cute little guy. So because Jack's working on my birthday, he's been giving like my gifts every day, which is just adorable. He's so cute. And he got me this little plushie. So it's just a little octopus. I don't know if you've seen them, like there was all over TikTok and all over online. And it's just like a mood octopus. So this is a little grumpy guy. And then you turn it inside out. And then he got a little happy guy. And he's adorable. Apparently he came like vacuum packed. <laughs> and Jack had to like all squish him out and everything. But yeah, it's, it's a nice subtle world. And it's a nice subtle way to tell Jack how I feel. If I'm happy or if I'm grumpy. But no, he's absolutely adorable. And I love him and he's super soft. And I like him. I've also just taken delivery of my Zymph order. So full transparency, Zymph contacted me to see if I would like to review a pair of their glasses. As a glasses wear, I was like, you know what? Yes, I would. I would like to review them. I've always been a bit conscious of like buying glasses online. I always go to Specsavers. 
just because I know like they're gonna do my prescription and if it's wrong I'm there you know I've always been a bit conscious I have a pea head as well so I've always like well what if they don't fit what if they're not right what if they're wonky I've always been a little bit conscious so I was actually really happy that they contacted me to review them any codes or anything that I have for you will be in the description box below but let's have a look at Zymph I'm guessing they were like goggles for you and all of those online glasses retailers so I'm just going to pop you down so we can look at this together so here is the box and then it just comes like that so it says make a difference in the world for every order you place Zimf will donate 50 cents to visually impaired children they did actually tell me that on the email and that's why I was really happy to work with them because I like to work with companies that have really good ethoses so that really means a lot to me and it also says thank you for your purchase on there and inside is all information how to clean your glasses how to adjust your glasses and um adjusting your temple tips and things like that which are really important also a few codes there all of those will be in my description box below and here are the glasses so they just come wrapped up in so they just come wrapped up in the glasses polisher i always call it a polisher i don't know and there we go so does it's just plain oh no it's not plain it has the it has the Zinf logo on there. So let's try them on and see what we think because I'm really dubious. I, don't, I never know. Actually, oh. Okay. They fit really well. I really like clear glasses. I've, since I've had clear glasses in the past, I've, if you watch my videos, you know you've seen me in my glasses before. But um, I really like clear frames and I was really glad to actually see more of a budget like um, retailer actually selling like clear frames and stuff because it can be quite expensive to get clear frames but I think these are adorable they are cute if you'd like any more information everything will be in the description box below but I'm really really happy with these glasses I think they're quite nice I'm really happy with them thank you Zim friends so I just realized like I got like through my day and I was like oh I've not picked the vlog camera up like since like last time you saw me which was hours ago <laughs> so Jax just took me to Tesco because I've run out of pads and I don't want to keep using them so I was like looking at my options for like more sustainable like period products and I've decided to go for the moon cup or the totem 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 is that what we say totem 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 so like totem pole I don't know so yeah I've decided to go for this and hopefully I, it does okay I, I don't really know <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get on hopefully I'll be fine and things will be normal as I've actually I'm on the implant and I've not had a period for like years and then all of a sudden I started on my like mood stabilizers and things and I just happened to start my period I don't know if it's just a coincidence or if the kind of like what's that word I'm looking for but I also picked up this yay so I trekked myself to some twinings matcha green tea with cranberry and lime that looks delicious I'm gonna look at it what my 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 mum my menstrual cup or my tea no the, the tea oh <laughs> because like you match it like it's better, better really. Let's have a look at it. Yes, yeah, so it says Magni um, contributes to normal energy yielding and metabolism. There you go. You're supposed to be driving. <gasps> you little bugger. <laughs> he just insinuate, he just like pretended to throw it out the window. You're a little bugger. Where is he running? Why are you running? There's a guy running and I feel like he's just like done a crime. Done a crime. Oh, and I also got this. I guess I'm doing a little shopping haul from Tesco. So this is Innocent Smooth. Ooh, he's spinning around. Yeah, I want to see what the guy's done. So this is Innocent Smoothies, and it's a guava, pineapple, and apple. Like, obviously, no added sugar. I got some peaches and some blackberries. 
Like, I only actually went in for this, but you know, you, you have a wander around. And yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna like sign off for the day and use my menstrual cup. And I'll let you know tomorrow how I get on. Morning, oh, morning friends. It's Friday and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I've had like a really bad day. Well, it's only 10 a.m. and it's it's been a day. My mental health's just kind of gone and I've not really had a, a great day. Um, so I've just come downstairs to make some breakfast. It's a birthday tomorrow, so I'm like happy about that. And my mother-in-law's come in to see me this afternoon. We're like, we're still in like the bubble, um, so she can come in and spend some time with us. So she's gonna see me for my birthday because she's busy tomorrow. And then, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna wait for Jack to come home at three and that's when his mum's coming. But I've got my reusable menstrual cup. I have some water boiling. So I've read the instructions and apparently I have to boil this for like three to five minutes. So like, here it is. That's kind of like what you do and you have to like fold it and pop it up and yeah. So the water's boiling. So I'm just gonna plop it in there. Yeah, I think that's all I need to do. <laughs> I'm going to show you just my menstrual cup boiling away. <laughs> so here is my breakfast. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, dried fruit and some mixed nuts. My <laughs> menstrual cup is there boiling away. I think it's been a couple of minutes now so I'm going to... Oh! It's been a couple of minutes now so I'm going to take it out and let it cool down and I'll let you know all about it. I'm not gonna go down to the nitty gritty. Obviously nobody wants to know that. But yeah, if anyone's interested, I'll I'll let you know how I get on. So I'm back upstairs. I'm watching Death Walker with Nick Groff on Discovery Plus. I do like ghosty things, so I'm enjoying it. And I like Nick Groff and ghosty things. So that's what I'm doing until I have, I'm gonna call my brother later on today and then Jack will be home and my mother-in-law will be here and then I think I'm just gonna go pick up my meds. I know part of it is because like my GP didn't do my meds in time so I haven't had my fluxetine. Um, so I know that's part of why I'm just ooh, a bit out of it today. Um, so I can go pick them up hopefully today, they'll be ready. Uh, I don't really know if I can go any more days without them. So hopefully that'll be fine. <sighs> yeah, I'll uh, check in with you soon. Also, this tea I got yesterday, amazing. Highly recommend. It is on rollback or like the club card offer. So I highly recommend grabbing it. It's delicious. Okay, I'm really, really surprised. So the instructions say the best way to put the menstrual cup in is like if you squat or sat on the toilet. So I washed my hands. Uh, I got the menstrual cup out the little hessian, like the little bag that it was all sanitized and everything. And so I washed my hands. I sat on the toilet and kind of you you fold it up to like a U shape, so it's like the shape of the um, vagina. So I just kind of popped it up using the like the little bit at the end so the end is like just at the entrance of my vagina and the rest of it is obviously up there to catch <laughs> whatever yeah so it's really really comfortable obviously I can feel it there for the time being like I've just put it in but I'm guessing like throughout the day I'm not gonna know it's there. I will let you know like how I get on with it if I forget it's there. But what the amazing thing is and that I read is that you only need to like take it out like every 12 hours. So you can sleep in it. You can basically just get on with your day. They do say like if you get any like leakage, you've obviously put it in wrong or you need a different size. Cause the size one is for like 18 and under who are not sexually active then you've got the size two which is like 
18 to 30 but not had a child and then like you have 30 plus who have had a child so I, it's a little bit confusing like Jack mentioned it was like what about someone who's under 30 who's had a child one can only assume that it'll just be the bigger size so the size three I don't I don't know that's very confusing about it I'm not sure if like the other designs of menstrual cups are similar or anything I've not really looked into it I just looked at like reusable pads or re the, the menstrual cup and things like that but so far so good I was like obviously going to be a little bit daunted you're like oh I'm putting something in my vagina it's not supposed to be there because I'm not really a tampon gal um so yeah I've not really <laughs> I'm not really a tampon gal so this is like new for me but um yeah so far so good the little rubber nub, nub the little nubbin at the end is like there so you could just pull it out so I'm just gonna watch Nick Groff I'm on Space Time season one episode one and I'm very looking forward to it and I'm just I've got my brekkie and I'm just gonna chill out. I'm just gonna have some me time. And I'm enjoying it. But yeah, I've got my tea. That match tea is. <laughs> Good evening, friends. He's home. Hello. Hello. Hello oh, there. Hello there. You gotta add it in the little general yeah. Kenobi thing there. Hello there. Yeah, so just seeing my mother in law and I got my birthday present. How beautiful are them flowers? She's outdone me, thanks mum. Yeah, she's out it is bleh. Yeah, she's outdone Jack completely. <laughs> they are absolutely gorgeous and they smell beautiful. I adore them. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you my gift from my mother in law, which is lovely. My cards are though. Yeah, your cards, but I didn't show you the cards actually, have I, guys? So I, I haven't shown you the cards. But here they are, that's off Jack's mum and stepdad, so the in laws. It's beautiful. And then this one is from Jack. <laughs> I love funny cards, so. And that penguins. Is, and it's penguins, so even better to go with my penguin mug but yeah I thought I'd just check in and show you that hello my love hello. <laughs> Jack's gonna order himself a takeout it's your birthday but I get a treat yeah <laughs> it's not my birthday until tomorrow equal attention cake yeah <laughs> so yeah I'll check in with you tomorrow on my big day of birth So it is Saturday, it's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday me. But it's 10 a.m. and I'm hungry, so it's time for breakfast. I think I fancy like some fruit and yogurt. So I have some plain oat yogurt. So this is the original Oatly oat yogurt plain, 400 grams. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this. And 100 grams works out at 84 calories, it's just not bad. Then I'm gonna have some more fruit. I'm definitely a creature of habit. I seem to always go for like the same thing. So I'm just gonna have a handful of blueberries, handful of raspberries, a handful of blackberries. And I'm gonna do get some chia seeds. I usually just use a tablespoon of chia seeds. I am feeling really hungry, so I'm actually going to have an orange as well in this. Oh, do I want a banana? No, I'll have an orange. And of course, I'm going to have some nuts. So I just got these mixed nuts again. And there we go. Breakfast is served. Probably more than that. Probably more than that.
more than that. I'll try and not keep you forever. <laughs> but we're just gonna go out. I did realize I forgot to like finish yesterday's vlog. My friend came over and just had like a nice relaxed evening. So I just completely forgot to finish the vlog off. I had takeout and we just kind of went to bed after that, didn't we? I'm old now, so. We're old. We're old. <laughs> So I don't really celebrate my birthday too much. I think it's sort of like you drain off me, especially when I've been up at like half past two in the morning and you want to... And by eight o'clock, we're both just ready for yeah, bed. Yeah, ready for bed. And it's just knackering. But yeah, I was up at like seven o'clock again this morning. I know, I was. I was up at six. I had to force myself back to sleep. I was up at six this morning. Then I was up at seven and then I sort of like tried to like... I was like, right, I need to go to the toilet now. And now uh, I thought I'd wake you up, and I did, so. Yeah, I was just awake at that point. So we're just gonna go and go to some charity shops that I haven't been to yet, um, since they've reopened. So we're just gonna do that, I think, today. We was gonna go to the, the car boot, but we think it's gonna be a bit too busy, with yeah. it only just opening again. So we're gonna give that a miss this week. Um, so I'm just gonna go to some more charity shops. So I've got like, so much I need to get and want to get and things. So, like I said, needing a whole new wardrobe. So it's a great excuse to. So the one that the charity shop wanted to go to was closed. Yes. I always get confused on a Sunday because some of them are open, some, some of them are not. And my hair's like flicking out all over the place. My hair needs washing. <laughs> Same. Same. But we did go to Scope. Found some pizza colour scissors. Papa Chicago Town ones with like the pizza slice on the scissors. <laughs> Look at these. They're so cool. Here we go. I'm gonna do your lunch with it because you got pizza for your lunch. Yeah, we're gonna head back home, grab some lunch. I gotta edit this video. So you can watch it tonight if you'd like to watch it. Hope you enjoy watching my weekly Canoodles. No, canoodles is another word for like kissing and cuddling. Oh. Yeah. My weekly getting up to us. Shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. My weekly shenanigans. So yeah, I'll see you back at home. Hi friends. So, I wasn't going to vlog until like later on, but I've just been watching um, Sierra Schultze. I love her. Um, she's, hello. Well. Hello. She's just doing like a, um spon influencers like overly raved about stuff. And she's just done um Simply Neological's overnight oats. And so I was like, I've got oats. I've got I wanna, I wanna do that. I've got oats, I've got milk, well coconut milk. So I'm gonna try it because the the only oats I actually have though are I'm reaching up because they're always on top of my fridge. The Quaker Oats Perfect Blends. So I'm just gonna like see if I can, if it works, you know? Like, is it gonna work? This is an angle. So it's just put it in a shaker bottle. So the only shaker bottle I have is this My Vegan one for like protein shakes. But I'm gonna do it anyway. And you need like, I don't know, milliliters. They're, they're in ounces. So I'm gonna go for like, 200 ml. So I've got my coconut milk. I'm going to give it a shake. And put 200 ml. Because usually when you have the sachets, they always say like 200 ml of the sachets. So I'm going to do that. I'll take this shaker out for. Oh, damn. So it's all in. I think I might have put too much milk in. I'm actually going to put some chia seeds in as well because I do like. Chia, like overnight chia seeds, like chia pudding. So I'm going to do that. Just going to have like... I'm going to do like one and a half teaspoons. So, they're in. Apparently you leave it in your fridge overnight off like a minimum of four hours. So in you go. And now I'm doing weekly vlogs. You'll find out how that went next Sunday. <laughs> but I think Jack wants to sit outside. Ah. Oh, it's lovely out here. Isn't it nice? Hello there. I'm gonna sit in the sun. 
Ugh. <laughs> How are you? It's nice, isn't it? It's really warm in the sun. Yeah, I'll finish the vlog here. Gonna get a bath, have some tea, get a bath, enjoy the sun, and you'll know all about my overnight oats next week. <laughs> So yeah, thank you for watching. I See hope you next week. Let's go leave our cliffhanger. How's my overnight oats? How is the, are those overnight so good or not? <laughs> Gotta wait a week. <laughs> Gotta wait a week. <laughs> but no, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these weekly vlogs. If you do, if you did enjoy watching, then please do let me know. And also let me know if you want to do like some more. Let me know if you want to do some come, come thrift with me sort of videos, like more vloggy type videos. If you enjoy the weekly vlogs. Do let me know, but apart from that, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.